the fallen king, Manchester City went straight to the final. The semi-final second leg of the Champions League between the two strongest opponents, Real Madrid and Man City, has long been expected by football fans and many consider it an early final. 90 minutes at the Etihad ended with four goals scored but all for Man City. The defending champion Real Madrid has stopped in the battle to defend his throne. As for Man City, closing the match with a ticket to the Champions League final for the second time in three consecutive years opened a new gate to the championship. Admittedly, no club really breathed in the opening minutes at the Etihad. The way Man City presses and steals the ball, dropping it inside the penalty area to create consecutive opportunities, is also something that has been done over and over for many years and more and more intense during this season. Man City confirms great pressure on Rail's goal. With a save right at the goal line, goalkeeper Courtois saved a visible goal for the home team. Another brilliant save by a talented goalkeeper. Without his talent, Rail's net would have been shaken. The defense of Real Madrid players is like creating conditions for Bernardo Silva. They almost gave the little Portuguese man immense space and goalkeeper Courtois could only give up. Real Madrid were desperate, but now they were at the bottom when it turned out that that Militao was their own goalie. It was only minutes ago when Courtois had saved them from a one-on-one -on -one match against Erling Haaland. In this situation, he was helpless. Lines of people in the Etihad Stadium, dancing together on the same frequency, singing the same song. Real Madrid's nightmare ended with a loss of four goals. No hope appeared. It's time for the king to cede the throne. Through this match, fans remember the day when Man City defeated Real Madrid in the International Champions Cup tournament in 2017. Although this is a friendly match, the way Man City beat Real Madrid is completely real. The players of Manchester City pressed close and defeated the opponent in the most convincing way. In football, there are inherent winners and losers. Not every team maintains its top form, and not all teams fail. Just after each failure, they will pick themselves up and draw lessons to become stronger. And perhaps Man City was too imbued with that bloody experience. As the only team to dominate the Champions League, the fact that Real Madrid lost to Man City was something that no one thought of. As for the Champions League, the two teams have faced many times and left a debt relationship. Specifically, in the round of 16 of the 2020 Champions League season, in two matches, Man City defeated Real Madrid. In the first leg, Real Madrid fell to Manchester City. 
in this tournament, Rail is considered the king when owning the most championship cups. And Man City is a team that has never won the championship cup. Although the round of 16 match, this confrontation also attracted a lot of attention from fans. In the second leg, Real Madrid could not turn the situation around. They suffered defeat before their opponent. Finally, the final result, 4-2, victory belonged to Man City. But in that league, Man City was not as strong as in this season. Up to now, they are at the top in every tournament. Their strength is that almost no team can stop. Most people think that the throne will belong to the green half of Man City. It is no exaggeration to say that Real Madrid fell admirably when throughout the match. They did not have many opportunities to enter the opponent's penalty area. This was a game where City won destructively against the strongest possible opponent, stopping them for the rest of the season. In other words, Real Madrid's stubbornness and bravery must also be relentless. So to try ask if there is any team that can stop the power of Man City who is crossing the finish line. My video is over here. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be able to receive the earliest notifications about my videos. Likes comments and shares are also the motivation for me to make better videos. And don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. See you again!